Andrew George Scott, alias Captain Moonlight. But Scott's story doesn't really get started until his family migrates to New Zealand in 1861. He gets wounded in both legs in a spear attack, injuries that will leave him with a permanent limp. And he goes to Melbourne. He meets a Bishop Perry from the Anglican Church, and he convinces Scott he should become a priest. It appears the three of them have come up with a plan to rob the Union Bank. Because we do know for sure, he turns up at the Sydney Mint right behind me with 120 ounces of fine gold dust to sell. But while he's waiting trial, he escapes. And some will go as far as to speculate that Scott and Nesbitt are actually lovers and fires a single shot from a rifle. It passes between two of the troopers. That if Bowen was shot through the throat with a rifle, he would have died almost immediately. But he lived for five days. Therefore, he must have been shot with something else, probably a revolver. Scott and Rogan will stay here at Darlinghurst and await that fateful day. But in 1995, there's a petition to grant Scott his last wish. 